What's up guys, Josh aka Savage Hydra here and welcome to episode number 10 in the How To series. Uh, last time we had a look at the kind of approaches to uh, team building that you can have going on and the kind of uh, different things you should really be considering when you're uh, kind of piecing together a team that you want to try and use. Uh, so this episode is going to be actually an example of building a balanced, underused team. Uh, something that is probably my strongest suit, because um, I prefer building balanced teams rather than something that's hyper offensive, and I also prefer the UU tier, the underused tier, because of its diversity. So we'll hop on to Pokemon Showdown and get building the team. So we are over here in the showdown team builder and I'm going to uh, first off set the format uh, so we can. this allows us to check that everything that we're putting on the team is uh, legal in the format which is one thing and then we're making a UU balance team up here so if you have uh, you can save notepad files using this as well and import them from text you can easily save and reconstruct teams uh, but we're just going to start something from fresh and so, for obvious reasons, I am going to make a team based around High Dragon here. And I'm going to use a Stall Breaker High Dragon. So that's a, a bit of a different set from the regular Scarf things. It runs Taunt, Roost, uh, Dragon Pulse. And here and Dark Pulse here, and then running a Life Orb for being extra damage, and then just the general uh, fast special sweeper thing, so maximum speed, maximum special attack, and then a Timid Nature. So that's like our our uh, our core for the team here, that's our, that our um, central point that we want to build around. So something that has uh, covers High Dragon's weaknesses is what we want next. Uh, so her dragon's weak to fairy, it's weak to fighting, it's weak to bug, it's weak to dragon, and it's weak to ice. So a lot of those are covered by, I believe, tentacruel. Where's tentacruel? Tentacruel here. So tentacruel is obviously it's a, a water poison type, so it, it resists bug, it resists fairy, it resists fighting, and it resists ice and hydragon also is immune to psychic it's immune to ground and it resists electric uh, is there any other weaknesses for tentacle i'm really sure i don't think so so yeah they cover each other's uh, weaknesses pretty damn well the only thing that we don't have a, a cover for right now is hydragon's weakness to dragon but that's easily uh sorted out by adding in a fairy so we can search for fairies uh, we go down to UU where's UU UU's down here so we can check in I think we'll go with uh, floor gets pretty staple uh, UU fairy there so that's kind of our defensive core there with these two uh, which is really nice so we've got a nice a nice little bulk uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is go for liquid ooze because that's good for getting rid of things that might want to be draining it because uh, liquid ooze means that uh, anything that would steal health from the target using things like giga drain or uh, say drain punch uh, actually lose health as much in, in, instead uh, so then we can chuck black sludge on for recovery uh, liquid ooze and then we can go for some super scenarios like scald is a nice move for burning uh, we can go for some Sludge Bomb, and that gives us some Stab, and then we can go for Toxic to get some of that racking up, and then what else can we put on here? Uh, we could try running Knock Off on this, but I think I'm going to keep it exclusively special, so let's check an Ice Beam in to counter some things like um, some stuff that might switch in, uh, and Grass types and stuff that might try and come in. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's really good. They also help us deal with some dragons a bit as well. Uh, and I think we might go max out on special defense here. So we're going to go for a... I uh, can't do that there. So we're going to go for a calm nature. No, wait, that's, that needs to be a minus. 
Uh, so we have got a calm nature. Ooh, no, there we go. Uh, max the special defense, and we'll also max the HP. Uh, we'll knock it down. Oh, for one thing, uh, if we're going to use this in game, we want to set the levels to uh, level 50, so we can check that. I've got a nice odd HP there, so that's nice. Uh, so that's not really a bother. Uh, we can set this to level 50 as well. So this is the, I'm putting it in level 50 here to emulate what it would be in actual on the cartridge game. So that's a nice and odd HP as well. Uh, so then let's put the extra four in special attack. Uh, just for the sake of it, um, it's, the potential is pretty fast, so 100 speed is pretty damn good. And then floggers, uh, let's run floggers. It's already got a huge amount of special defense bolt, so let's go with uh, uh, physically defensive 252 and bold. Yeah. There we go, bold. And then also max out its HP, so that's uh, so that's level 50. And do, 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 do. and that's nice and odd HP as well. So then we can put the other four into special attack. And I think for this we're going to go with, of course, a leftovers. Now one thing I really like having, so we've got two nice and bulky things here. We've got a lot of uh, status conditions on our tentacle. And I think as well I want to make this floggers a bit of a threat. Because floggers can be really threatening in the right situation. So I'm going to go for a moon blast as a core stab move. Uh, let's make it a medic with wish and aromatherapy. And I think it might be a good idea. We can do a couple of things here. We can chuck protect on for, for uh, scouting stuff. Uh, we can try out putting on toxic and taking it off of tentacle and replacing that for something else. Um, or we can make this a nice bit of a, a setup offensive threat. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this a bit of a threat. Uh, a nice offensive support with some Calm Mind. So that allows us to boost this obscene special defense up already. Uh, and then means that we can kind of start uh, actually sweeping stuff out if this floor just gets set up. And then it means that it can cure status conditions and heal as well. So that's nice. Uh, so that covers our weaknesses really because floor is weak to steel and poison, uh, both of which are resisted by tentacle. Tentacles weak to electric, uh, psychic, and ground, which are all covered by Hydreigon, and Hydreigon's weaknesses are covered by the other two. So that's a nice core there. Uh, so we want a Rapid Spinner, or a Defogger, and we also want Stealth Rocks. So something that speaks out to me there quite nicely is actually if we put in a Don fan because that gives us sturdy uh, and we can give that some more leftovers uh, and then we want to put stealth rock on this and also rapid spin so that gives us our uh, setup setup and our uh, spinner and then we can also chuck in earthquake of course and a nice staple uh, stab attack and I think also we don't have any knockoff utility in this team yet so let's check in some knockoff and I want this to be uh, oh, I don't want that uh, I want this to be really nice and uh, defensive and able to eat up hits because floggers although we've got the defense investment there is not really good in the defensive side that much so if we've max invest this Don fan in defense And that's nice and uh, odd HP as well. And then put the last four in attack. And we want to do plus defense and we can do minus special attack. So a nice and impish, impish nature. I think that's a really nice, a really, really hefty defensive wall, uh, which is nice. And that goes with this rather cool. We've got another immunity. Uh, its weaknesses to water and ice are already covered in the team. Uh, what else is it? We do grass is covered in the team. That's nice, it doesn't really uh, open up any holes and also provides us with an extra immunity and sturdy as well. So that's something nice to put in. So we've got some nice offensive support in here and we've got uh, some taunt to deal with some walls and stallers and we also have a lot of uh, utility as well as the uh, 
bulkiness in this team. So I think we might add in a little more of something fast. Uh, and thinking about it, we could add it in. That's something we could try out. I've not really done that before, but it might work with the team. Um, let's just put a dog blade in here. Yeah, let's do dog blade. So we can go with some more setup and something really nice and bulky. Uh, so we can go for. Let's go for. Obviously, Evia Light is going to come out for this dog blade. Uh, no guard there, and we can go swords dance. But this is something physical. So at the moment, our team is three special and one physical. So I want to add some more physical stuff in here. Uh, Shadow sneak because this also gives us some nice priority as well, which is important. Uh, Sacred sword is a really good move for ignoring because it ignores the uh, target stat changes. And then we can go for some nice stab and go just iron head. There we go. Uh, and then this can be nice and bulky, physical sweeper, uh, level 50, odd HP, max attack, some HP, and a little bit of special defense to help that EV light. And that works quite nicely with the team. Uh, it's weak to fire, which we've got two coverages for. It's weak to ground, which we've got uh, an immunity for, and Donphan will eat up earthquakes for days. It's weak to dark, and we've got Hydreigon and Floggers that both resist dark, and it's uh, just generally really nice and physically bulky with its base 150 defense. Yeah, I like that in there. So now definitely we want to add some more speed to this team because Floggers is uh, not particularly fast. Donphan is slow, Dubblade is very slow, and Tentacle and Hydreigon are pretty speedy, but nothing too major, especially not with Scarfs either. Um, we haven't got a Mega on this team yet, so we want to look potentially at something really, really fast. Uh, something really fast, and uh, maybe a Mega. We could go with the Crobat, which would be nice. Uh, we can add in some. Uh, then anyway, we've also already got poison damage, and I'm not too sure about that. We've already got poison in Tentacruel, so that'd be uh, double crossing some of our weaknesses. Uh, what else is really fast? Espeon's pretty fast. We could add in a psychic type, but that's more special, almost than physical. Uh, Galvantula's special. Hatsaurus, no. Infernape. I get to add some fire and fighting to the team. Um. Hmm, me and Shell could be pretty good. Uh, Septar special, slow, sharpedo. Mm. I think. Oh, that's that's an interesting. I think we might have a look at some Mega Aerodactyl. Because that allows us to chuck in some Stone Edge. There. Uh, we can go with uh, some flying coverage where we attack. Uh, protect should give us the free Mega Revolution because Aerodactyl is really, really fragile. Uh, but if we go for just regular Aerodactyl here, there we go, and then we can choose Pressure there, uh, and then go with Aerodactylite, Pressure, uh, Stone Edge, uh, Wing Attack, because that gets the Tough Claws bonus from the Mega. Uh, I want to go protect to get the Mega Revolution off because uh, Aerodactyl is pretty damn frail. Uh, and then we could try and add in what else have we got in here? Aqua Tail could be pretty good. Uh, we, also have we already have water coverage there though. Crunch, we already have dark coverage, so that's fine. We already have dragon coverage, uh, ground coverage. Uh, ooh. Ice coverage, we already have. We don't actually have any fire coverage, so I might go with, for the Tough Claws bonus, uh, we can go with Fire Fang here. We get a fast physical sweeper, level 50, bring the stats down. Uh, that's nice and odd there, Matic speed, and we're all good. So in this team now, we've got three physical, being uh, Donphan, Double Aid, and Aerodactyl. We've got uh, three things that are pretty damn fast, uh, three things that are over 95 speed, so that's really nice. Uh, we've got uh, Medic slash Setup Sweeper, we've got another Setup Sweeper over here, we've got Stealth Rock and Rapid Spin and Knock Off Utility. Uh, we've got pretty good type coverage across the whole team. So, 
I think this might actually be pretty good to go at this point. Uh, we've got a bit of everything, we've got a bit of status, the only thing we don't have is Thunder Wave, and... Another thing we might actually be lacking a bit of, looking at this team, the only things that I can think of that really, really are that threatening to it... Are potentially banded... Maybe banded Darmanitan might be a bit of an issue, because that's still going to ruin Tentacruel and uh, Rock Slides from... Uh, actually, no, Aerodactyl will outspeed a banded... Um, a banded... Darmanitan, so that's not a problem. Scarf Darmanitan might be a bit of a threat. But then Donphan will eat up the hits and return with an Earthquake that will decimate it. Uh, no, so uh, actually the only thing I can really think uh, about that actually ha this team has problems with potentially be Mega Swampert. Uh, and maybe a bit of Suicune. Suicune might be a bit of an issue as well. Um, so it might be worth seeing about uh, replacing Wish on this floor gears with uh, maybe a Giga Drain or something for some uh, extra, uh, extra coverage and grass coverage. Uh, that could potentially be a nice thing to do. Um, but other than that, I think the team's pretty pretty solid there. We've got a balance of physical and special offensive threats. We've got a mix of bulk and fast glass cannon. Uh, we've got some setup in the team. We've got uh, hazards and hazard removal. We have knockoff. We have burns. We have toxic. I think we're pretty good. Uh, so, if we go back here, we can check the team over. Validate. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, so Hydreigon must be at least level 64 to be evolved, that's fine. I'm just checking stats for when it's in-game. So, normally when you're playing on Showdown, everything's at level 100, so that's one thing. Not to worry about if you're just looking at your stats for your uh, your um, in-game teams when they're actually uh, battling. Of course, in-game, the Hydreigon will be over level 64. But at the same time, when it goes into battle, it'll be down to level 50, so you'll have these stat spreads. So, the only thing left to go through would be to nickname the stuff, and uh, choose if you want to have the male, female, shiny, or anything like that. But other than that, this uh, could potentially be a pretty solid team, so you might see it around at some point. I quite like the looks of it, so... Yeah, that's kind of like the kind of sort of approach I go with for team building, uh, UU and balance. Hopefully next time we will have some uh, some extra special people on here to help out for some stuff that I'm not so familiar with. Uh, we'll be looking at potentially some OEU hyper offense, perhaps. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. It depends on people's availability and stuff when recording. So um, other than that, uh, we can have a look at these. I'll give you another little quick look at everything. So we got Aerodactyl, Doublade, Donphan, Floggers up here. Tentacruel and Hydreigon all in the UU balance team and there we go. If you uh, enjoyed this video then um, do please leave a like. If you think there's anything I might have missed or any holes you can see in the team, uh, really obvious ones, I've already highlighted the fact that Mega Swampert might be a problem. Uh, so if you think there's any major holes in this team, do uh, feedback because sometimes you miss things so uh, other people's opinions and stuff is always good. Uh, so comments down below, also uh, if you want to see more of this sort of thing and the rest of the tutorial series then do also subscribe, they will hopefully be keep coming every week until I run out of things that I'm actually able to do with them because it is kind of a finite thing. Uh, and then uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.